Wikipedia or a decent sized Wikipedia page. <laughs> I can confirm that Stephen Fielding does have a decent sized Wikipedia page, but more in a moment. But let's first, I want to tell you guys a story. Let's take a trip back to my childhood. Back when I was a little girl, <laughs> our family, family every July, would go up to the mountains and just gather around a wood stove and, and, and pray for a hotter world. <laughs> then, after some more praying, and some more praying, we'd wait four months, and finally that day arrived. <laughs> and that first hot day was known as Stevesmas. <laughs> In ancient German law, old Saint Steve would dress up on the first warm day and hand out jackets and scarves and gloves to all the townspeople. And we'd all dance around, getting sweaty, until denying the heat became unbearable. Stevesmas became a bit of a tradition. In fact, the lead-up was the best part. I, to this day, I remember the 12 days of Stevesmas. In the lead-up, we crashed 12 hybrid cars, dismantled 11 wind turbines, burned 10 truck tires, and on the final day, we'd shoot, pluck, roast, and eat white partridge from a walleye pine, <laughs> which we will then cut down and burn just for fun. In fact, no, it wasn't happy days, Chris. I remember my dad died in a tragic one of my behind burning accident. The Christmas lights, or the Steezmas lights as we called it, had a floor in them. It was terrible. Absolutely terrible. That never happened. Just a little joke. <laughs> Off the cuff. Stick to the nose, Dan. <laughs> Look, even today when the weather gets warmer, I get a chill up my spine, ironically. Some people suggest that old Saint Steve it's kind of like this thing called climate change, which is ambiguous at best. The old GA leaders got together and said, there's only going to be a 2% temperature rise over the next 15 years. Onions, we swear, we're going to lock you down at 2%, it's not going to get any hotter. Are you kidding? Leaders of the world, just in the last 15 minutes, seeing all of these wonderful, progressive, young, lefty women, <laughs> my temperature's reading over 2%. <laughs> In fact, maybe we should put my number up there. Um, actually, no, I'm actually really scared of really hot girls, so uh, I'll just stick to Twitter. Daniel is my Twitter name, so just, you know, whatever. I mean, if you want to, uh, even Facebook. I mean, if you, I mean, you decide. It's one of those things. Um, now, some people suggest that Steve doesn't exist. The same way that Alan suggests, sorry, the same way that Alan Jones suggests that he doesn't have prostate cancer. Why I remember him saying, Good morning, everyone. Many of you may have read out there that I, Alan Jones, King of the Universe, Lord of the World, have prostate cancer. Well, let me tell you, it's preprostatorous, that. In fact, every time, up to four or five times a day, I get my prostate checked, and it's very uncomfortable for those who watch. <laughs> and I certainly don't have prostate cancer, because the best way to, to, to not have prostate cancer is to not know you have prostate cancer. Oh, Alan James Jones, if that was only true, otherwise we would have been ignoring you for years. In fact, I have irrefutable, irrefutable proof that Stephen Fielding does exist, Charles Firth. I have in my hand an email that was handed to me by Goodwin Gretsch. <laughs> <laughs> in that email, in that email, he gave me a link to a little-known documentary that was made by Kevin Rudd in 2007, a feature film, Charles Firth, you may not have heard of, called An Inconvenient Senator. <laughs> Rudd was very pragmatic and suggested that even Stephen Fielding had his own right to, to, right, to, right to have a chat, right to democracy. In fact, in his own words, you know how he talks in 80 sitcom fan songs, I believe he said, uh, the world don't move to the beat of just one drum. What might be right for you might not be right for some. Different strokes it takes, different strokes it takes, different strokes to move the world. <laughs> and then I believe Wayne Swan heard him said, What are you talking about, Kevin? <laughs> no, it is true. It is absolutely true, this email right here. Kevin Rudd then went on to bake some dampness, shoot a roux, and evenly distribute condiments from the same sauce bottle to everyone in his party. <laughs> Now, speaking of Al Gore, I saw Al Gore in a video before. Is it just me, or does he talk in some sort of alien robot talk? <laughs> we need to take care of the planet. Take me to your leaders. <laughs> Thank you, just thought of that then. Uh, <laughs> pretty good the dome, as they would say. As people would say. Now, back to my original thought about Wikipedia. Stephen Fielding does exist, in fact, 
Um, I just checked his Wikipedia page. Can we bring that up, Tim? There it is here. Allegedly born in the 1960s, he is the patron saint of business on the first holiday of the year. There we go. There is much speculation as he's actually existed. Many academics and scientists suggest this is true, however, choose to regard the fact, disregard the fact, or rely solely on faith. He is also a bit of a douche. <laughs> Building does exist. <laughs>